Greetings, sports fans, and welcome to our presentation of college basketball. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the West Virginia Mountaineers going up against the Michigan State Spartans. I'm Forrest Hunt. Joining me are Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And guys, does watching these games take you back to your college days? Absolutely it does. You instantly get caught back up in all the excitement. And it also doesn't hurt when those memories are taking you back to a championship season. Yeah, you know, it does bring up some great memories. And it's always fascinating to see how much has changed and how much really has stayed the same status quo with these schools. Pass to Junior. Mills. Back to Junior. Harvey. He's guarded by Stevenson. And there it is for him. You know, when he's effective on the inside, Junior can give opponents a lot of problems. It also spreads the defense and opens up the perimeter for him. Outside, West. Here's Harden. Pass to Pearson. Good on the triple. You know, Michigan State has been absolutely dominant in Big Ten play. And, you know, it pains me as a Buckeye to admit that, but that's real talk. I mean, they have been superb and really one of the top programs in the nation for the last 20 years or so. Now here's West. Here's Harden. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Red Thompson. And I know it's not easy for you to admit the success of the Spartans, Clark, but as you said, they're a premier program. The Spartans have had 22 straight trips to the big dance. That's such an incredible feat for a program. What an outstanding job this school has done to be a pillar of the college hoop scene. Junior with it. Pass to Lambert. Back to Junior. Deflected. Here's the break. Steps back in, fires. The shot off that time. Nice D from Mills. The three is up. And Junior with the three. He's quick to punish a defense for giving him too much space behind the arc. Junior knows the value of the three-point shot, and he's quick to use it. One of the big strengths of this Michigan State team is their coaching staff. They've been around for a long time and are still as sharp as ever. And the staff does a great job connecting with their players. They form relationships that really extend beyond just their time in school. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. He makes them both. The Spartans leading. Pass to Junior. Over to the left wing. To the inside. And he floats it in for an easy two. Credit the assist on that play. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Here's West. Picked up by Stevenson, and it's West penetrating, and it's West with the jam. Well, the West Virginia team has seen some improvement the last few years. Several strong seasons in a row. They were right in line for a high seed before the virus canceled the tournament. Now here's Junior. Seven points in the game. On the wing, Mills. Back to Junior. Score the basket, his fourth shot. He's only missed one tonight. 
Some young players just have that grown man strength. Junior taking it right to the defender. And with the Mountaineers, they've had some great recruiting classes. Well, this team is improving, and the future is really bright. I think they've got a great coach in place, and there's a lot of excitement around the program. Here's Harden, and Liver with the block. And he gets it back. And it's out of bounds to the Mountaineers as West Virginia retains possession. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here's Pearson. Tries again. And he lays it up and in. Uh, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. And the Spartans with possession here. And with how strong the program is, you know the Spartans have a couple of titles. Won it all in 79 and 2000. Honestly surprised they haven't come away with more with the success this duel has had. Back to Pearson. Pass to Paul. White. And here's Pearson from the arc. And again, West Virginia with the triple. Hey, when you're a leader like Pearson, you've got to assert yourself. And that's what he's doing there, showing you he's unafraid of rising and taking that shot. Misses from close range. Now here's White. Pass to Paul. That's good, and it's White with the assist. And the Spartans have been the runner-up once as well. That was back in 2009. You know, what's really impressive is how often the Spartans get to the Final Four. I mean, eight trips to that stage since 1999. And when Michigan State gets in the tournament, more than likely, they're going to be around for a while, making a deep run. Yes, count it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. Not a lot you can do as a defense when they keep getting the ball in the paint like this. The shot is good. You know, they've come close on a few occasions in the past, but West Virginia is still looking for its first title. In 1959, they were runners up, and they made the Final Four in 2010. And here's Pearson from the arc. Michigan State grabs the miss. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Out to the right wing. Here's O'Connor. And the Spartans, another three. For the Mountaineers, they are rarely a high seed. They've never been a number one seed. They were a two seed in 2010 and a three seed in 2016. Other than that, they are usually not ranked that high. But they're building something here and they're pushing for that first title. Now, here's Hernandez. White for three. And that doesn't go, and he's 0 for 1 from the field. Pass to O'Connor. Three pointer. It's good. The assist that time from Hayward. They were showing you exactly what a true good floor general does. Read the defense and then dish accordingly. White outside. Here's Paul. And here's White. Here's Tavares. To the paint. Will it go? It's deflected. You know, it's not a big basketball factory when it comes to players joining the NBA from West Virginia, but they do have some representation from their alumni base. And all time, you have some big names on the list. But in the last few years, it's, it's been pretty sparse. Still, this team remains competitive without having NBA-level talent. <laughs> First half of play here, and what's been a good one? It's the Mountaineers. They're up by two. Well, I'm not having that. 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 I'm not having that
from the tracks. And about halfway through, what have you seen from Junior thus far? He's scoring with real efficiency, making it look pretty easy offensively. Great shot selection and an instinct for scoring the ball. His talent level is obvious, and he's having his way. Now Pearson, six points for him. But Thompson, again, West Virginia. Well, I like seeing Pearson keep things simple. When he does that, the game comes really naturally to him, making good use of the in-between area there. And, guys, Junior is as raw of a player as they get. He didn't start playing on guys' ball until recently, but this program believes in him. And, you know, he only played his senior year of high school as far as basketball goes, but that was enough to impress this coach to offer him a spot on the team. And you can see the raw athleticism and the skills are starting to come along nicely, too. Side West. Pass to Harden. This time for three. Here's Stevenson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Here's Lambert. Harvey with it. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot and will go to the line. That one on Stevenson. también, ¿eh? Seguimos perdiendo y no puede ser. He's off on the second. West Virginia in the lead. Up top, West. Covered by Junior. The second effort. And Stevenson lays it up and in. You know, one common theme for the Spartans, the group is always unselfish. And they play hard and tough. And I think you've got to give a lot of credit to both the players and the coaching staff. They kind of hold each other accountable. This team puts the team before anything. You look at the players they've had. Draymond Green, Denzel Valentine, Magic Johnson. They are all great team players. Now here's West. Oh. Uses the glass to finish the layup. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. You're all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. Junior with it, guarded by Pearson. And that one is good. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Well, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Timeout called here. The Mountaineers decide to talk things over. By Junior. West Virginia with the ball. It's a three-point game. You guys, West Virginia, they've come alive in the last few seasons. Also, they went through a change of conferences not too long ago. For so long, the Mountaineers were playing in the conference on the East Coast. Now they are facing off against teams like Oklahoma and Texas Tech. A lot more travel time involved from West Virginia, but so far they've held up pretty good. Now here's Junior. He's got 17. <laughs> Drops in the tray. He drilled one from deep in the first half, doing it again here in the second. Now here's Pearson, covered by Junior. Pass to Paul. Here's Tavares. Soft touch off the glass. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there 
makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Outside, Hayward. Back to Junior. And Dang that one's nine. good. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist total, ah, they've been clearly the better team. And the foul called on Junior. That's his first foul. Both teams deciding to change it up. Let's make it down. And the Mountaineers making a change here. Down low. Pass to Lambert. And a great Dang, assist goes. by Thompson as that one goes in. Well, I really like the package that Red Thompson has. He's not really flashy, but uber effective. He's a combo guard, has a real nose for scoring, can knock it down from outside or attack the rim effective. Here we go, all alone. Plays it in off the breakaway. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Let's keep feeding him. Let him eat. Now here's West. Not a lot of room. Pass to Harden. Back to West. And the foul called on Junior. So that'll be his second foul of the game. We're in single bonus, so they'll have the one and one chance now at the line. And he comes up empty, missing the one and one attempt. Speaking of Thompson, he doesn't give you much on defense, but his offense is the selling point. His defense should improve, but you can live with where he's at. Fortunately, he more than makes up for it with his skill set on the offensive end. He's a natural shot creator for himself as well as for others. And here's West. Pearson outside. And the Mountaineers miss again. You know, one thing that makes these games so compelling is the influx of new play styles. Some of these players could be the prototype of what's to come for the NBA. Well, these players all bring to the court the latest ideas and techniques, stuff they picked up online or in games with friends, and they're less afraid to try new things. Yeah, you know, they haven't really fully defined their comfort zone yet, so there's a willingness, actually an eagerness, to stretch your abilities and really test yourself out there. I love that. Side West to stop the run. And he lays it in. You know, he doesn't have much quickness, but he'll still attack the rim when given the chance. The Spartans leading. Here's Harvey. Stevenson with the rebound. Now here's West. Turn around, Jay. That one a little long. These guys have some good motion on offense. Nice assists. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. One thing that makes these games extra special to me is that we could be seeing parts of the future NBA championship team out there. You know, if only you could pick them out, right? Forecast the future a bit. I agree. That question in the back of your mind, is this a future MVP? Adds another layer of interest. It's Whee! tough to think about how many of these players have that dream for themselves, knowing only the very best are going to take that next step and join the league. Here's Brand. He's covered by Mills. Pass to Stevenson. West. The three. It's hauled in by Junior. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Shot's good by Thompson. That one's going to be the final dagger. And these guys, 
can now celebrate. And they deserve it. They deserve to celebrate a dominant performance in what's going to be a blowout win. Pearson outside. West. Back to Pearson. Pass to Harden. Harvey grabs the board. Thompson outside. Back to Junior. And so it's the Spartans taking care of business here in this one. A double-digit margin and no We're question that Junior had his fingerprints all over this victory. Quite the show. Continuing to live up to the ever-growing hype. He looked extremely focused throughout and, as you said, made his mark. And that'll wrap it up for us. Until next time, good night. Why'd you dunk the ball like that? Saw an opportunity to make a big play. <laughs> hey, why'd you dunk the ball like that? Felt like the right time to energize the team. All right, you're gonna have to make a decision about what type of player you're gonna be, how you're gonna represent yourself and the school. Would your dad have made that play? Listen, coach, if I stepped out of the line and you don't want me to do it again, fine. I can make the adjustment. All right, Junior, I'm gonna tell you a story. <laughs> All right, now I'm at my school. I'm bleeding our colors, but I lived on the bench. One particular game, everybody was in foul trouble, so I get tossed in. Now I'm thinking, good, it's my moment. I'm gonna give him the razzle-dazzle, behind the back pass, crossover, step back, I threw the kitchen sink at him. You showed out. Absolutely, I wanted to show that I belonged in the rotation and off the bench. We ended up winning by two, so I'm thinking, I'm on cloud nine, life's complete. Why do I get the feeling that this story does not have a happy ending? Well, coach pulls me aside and he tells me I'm back on the bench. He says we should have won by 10. But I made the game about myself, my ego. Every time I went, I wanted to do something special or fancy, we dropped possessions. I, I was mad. He was wrong. But then I saw the tape. You know what happens next, or you're just tired of listening to me talk? I'm not because I'm listening. Look, Junior. Win or lose, play the game the right way. Now, if you think that dunk was the right play, that's fine, but you're gonna have to live with that. And there may be some unintended consequences. You got me? See gotcha, you, Coach. Man. All right. Smiling, huh? I mean, I don't, don't worry about that. Uh, she oh, got you oh, smiling. Man. Look you at go. you, boy. You hey, thank you for bringing me here. This place is amazing. I come here every Monday when Madison's playing. It's so easy to get one dimensional with like everything that we do, like training and film sessions and travel. And I just, I just want to see so much that's out of that bubble. You know, like yeah. I have to. Yeah. Well, I haven't found that thing yet. No? Why not? I, that is a great question, especially because it's so direct. <laughs> well, that's what college is for, right? Yeah. Figuring out who you are. And you're exposed to so much, just if you're open to it. Like, all of this, this makes me so good at soccer in the long run. Like, at least I like to think it does. And you play for the Canadian national team, too? I'm, I'm an alternate right now. But yeah, every time I get in line and they sing, oh, Canada, <laughs> I get chills. Like, I just, I can't wait. I, school lets me take assignments on the road as a wait, special wait, arrangement. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If my memory serves me correct, you said 
basketball players get the treatment. Yeah, yeah. that's what you okay. said, right? Yes. Basketball. Yeah, pro- I did. Oh, okay, I did. Checking. Okay, but you know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, I do. I mean, everywhere I go, people are asking me about the games, win or lose. Especially lose. Yeah, expectations are high, but yeah, I get it. I mean, the fans, they take everything so personal. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to filter out all that noise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I struggle with it sometimes. Being good at this, it's your responsibility. Man. Yeah, it's just all going by so fast. And I um, I just want to appreciate this moment. So thank you very much. Thank you, too. Love is in the air. Na, 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 na. Bueno, pues un nuevo partidito con victoria. Espero que os haya gustado. Si queréis que me dé más duro, ya sabéis, dadle like, chicos. Nos vemos en el siguiente partido. Que vaya muy bien.